Today we're talking about how one of the most important things in your game is your misses. When you're missing shots, how you can actually correct those misses. Uh, oftentimes when you miss a shot in basketball, you're like, damn, like I messed up. You know, you feel like everybody's eyes on you because you missed a shot. You're like, what the hell? You get very frustrated. Well, when you look at some of the great shooters, I'm not even gonna throw myself in that category, <laughs> but the, the greatest, you know, like Ray Allen, Clay Thompson, Stephen Curry, Mark Price, Steve Kerr, um, Michael Jordan, you know, his mid-range game, they always look at their misses and they always recalibrate. So if you're missing a lot in a game or even in practice, pick up, you always wanna see, hey, how am I missing? And how can I correct that miss? Everybody has a kind of miss that they predominantly do. Some people miss short all the time. Some people miss long all the time. Some people miss to the sides all the time. So you you want to try to correct some of those errors. Never paying attention when the shot's going in. It's when it is when it's you know you're not making it. That's when every, all hell breaks loose. You know you feel like you're in a funk. Sometimes you you won't even want to shoot the ball anymore. Go you can be wide open. You won't shoot the ball because you remember hey I shot three times and I missed all three times but you're when you're missing all three times you gotta say hey how did I miss you gotta focus on that as well this way you can self-correct uh Gilbert Arenas was good on this he was like you know his mind was like he was like a computer downloading his game or whatever the case is so he will always analyze everything in his game you know Ray Allen's another guy he could tell you exactly why he missed certain shots and I always know why I missed it Short legs, long. I'm aiming it. I always can tell right away. And even in the review I did of Stephen Curry's uh, master class program, he said a lot of times you can see, you know, some of the things that you're doing and why you're missing the shots. For example, he gave a great example in his master class that you know if you see that you're missing left to right, side to side, it could either be that you're fanning your release to the right or to the left, <clears throat> or your alignment isn't right. So your elbow might be going across your eye. You see how my hands going to the left. So the ball's going to the left or going to the right. That being said, you got to use those misses to your advantage. 100%. Always recalibrate, especially when you're like alone in the gym. You know, you're alone in the gym. You're either doing your form shooting or you're just shooting around. You keep missing one way or missing another way. Figure out a way to solve it. You know, a lot of times you're missing short. Well, most likely you're not using your legs or you're not on the balls of your feet. You're more on your heels. You're flat, you're shooting flat footed. A lot of times you have a flat shot. Well, a flat shot could come from, like I said, like I said before, not using your base, using your legs. Or a flat shot could come from your, your hand not being underneath the ball. Sometimes instead of being underneath the ball, like this is, let's just say this is a ball and your hand is like this your hand might be this way. So you might have like a, I guess not a flex wrist, but like a relaxed wrist, and maybe that's causing you to shoot a flat shot. Maybe sometimes you have a lot of side spin, the ball's rimming out a lot. Well, maybe because you're thumbing with your guard hand. You know, there, there's a, a lot of reasons for misses, but you really gotta take advantage of those misses and say, all right, how am I going to correct this going forward? Because I know it's frustrating. It's definitely frustrating for me whenever I play. To be missing a shot, you're like, damn. Like, you know, sometimes you feel like, damn, I stink or whatever the case is. But that's not what it is. You look at, there's guys, especially in the league and the NBA, like, you go know, 7 for 21. But that, that 21 shots they're taking, they're finding their shot and finding their rhythm or whatever the case is. So you always want to make sure that you're paying attention to those misses especially if you're missing like three four times in a row three four times in a row something's out of whack and you got to correct it because you want to be a jump shot maker not a jump shot taker you know what i'm saying you don't want to be that guy that is just taking a bunch of shots in the game and not making any you want to be the guy that's making all the shots and people can rely on you like i said before you know, missing short legs, left to right, you follow through, or your base, you might be aligned improperly. Missing long, you might be aiming it. 
you know, you don't want to aim in the direct kind of, you know, like throw it directly at the rim. It's not like a football, you know, you need to have some arc on your shot. So it'll go drop right through. Um, another thing is you might be palming the ball a little bit. If it's flat, you might be palming the ball too much. So make sure you have the ball on your fingertips. You know what I'm saying? You don't want it to be laying flat on your palm. So there's a multitude of things. Fig kind of recalibrate yourself. Always try to recalibrate after every couple misses or whatever the case is. And, you know, just focus on that. But if you're making a pole ball triple, you ain't, you, everybody knows once you, when you're making shots, you're not even really thinking about how you're making it, how it's going. And you don't think about any of that. But it's when you're missing. So when you're missing, don't look at it as a um, a situation where it's, like, negative. Look at it more as a teachable moment, a moment where you could actually elevate your game and take away take away something from it. And, you know, in life, you learn uh, the most from your failures. Hoops Junction. Hoops meets Hoopla. Like, comment, and subscribe.